sandwich, I think. Cheese sandwich? Yeah, but it's got it comes with chips and it's got bacon and um, it's home. It's like French crunchy apple bacon and melted cheese. I'm gonna go for that. This is breakfast, but I make a jasmine rice with beef. Oh, they do have pancakes. I was looking for pancakes last night and I couldn't find it. They have Canadian syrup too? Wow. We should have come here for breakfast. I know. So good. Classic club sandwich with chicken bacon, egg, cheese, mm -hmm. lettuce. Now I'll get the Temple Club. Southern fried chicken? Oh my god. And some sort of passion sauce. Yeah, this would have been great. A great a breakfast oh, like. They have chicken cordon bleu. Oh, that's some white stuff with cheese? Yeah, and ham. And a schnitzel? Oh god, I don't know what to pick. Showing all the crazy options. I oh, know it's mad. I mean, there's so many normal things, and then there's bugs and crocodile and yeah, frogs. Stewed frogs. Where'd the bugs go? I think those are bugs. One thing I think I will take is a bottle of water tonight. Yeah, I, I'll get one too. This place is so fancy and still cheap too. I never showed um, the currency here. I have to do that before I lose it all. I mean, uh, the, honestly, all the Eastern Asian currencies kind of look the same. And I don't mean to be like racist, but yeah, they all just, and the colors are the same and like the scripture kind of looks similar. But, like I accidentally gave Laotian kit multiple times. So this is a 100, which is pretty useless. I think it's like two cents. There's a 1,000. Every 1,000 is 25 cents. It's much easier to keep track than other currencies. That's that's all I have. I, get, I, I ran out of all my other money. But US dollars is actually used more here than um, <coughs> Um, Cambodian real. It, it's like everything's marketed in US dollars and I think they prefer it honestly. Would you say they prefer US dollars here? I think they think we prefer it which is why they keep, I uh, think they think the entire West deals in dollars and they wouldn't, they're trying to be nice just to go and give them five dollars we'll go oh that makes it easier instead of we all converted immediately into our own currency. Yeah right. I do not have COVID, by the way. I got tested. Thankfully, I think it's from the pollution in Laos still. This is our last night here, and then we're taking a sleeper bus tonight to um, Phnom Penh, the capital. Which I'm excited for the sleeper bus. What was it? I think this was three dollars. This is so good. It's like a wagon mamas in England. It's the food arrived. Oh shit! Arrive. That's yours. Wow. wow. Oh my gosh, this place is great. I really do regret I You know what? I bet you this one in Phnom Penh, too. This is six up. This is a lot more expensive. This was $6? Wow. Steak. Oh,
Oh god, is our luggage falling? <laughs> On our way to the night palace. <laughs> Why don't you just stay here for the new year? <laughs> I would love that. That, that should have been our plan. I just went to the bathroom. Why is there never any place to wash hands? Or toilet paper. Wow, we're totally gonna get sleep in that. We have to take our shoes before getting on. I'm really struggling with feeling gross right now. I mean, also, I haven't showered. I'm super sweaty. Yeah, I haven't been washed my hands after I touched the toilet. I just grossed out. They didn't have a sink, it's not me. We put our shoes in those bags. Wow, cool. Alright, 3C and 3B. Um, I don't even see 3, 2. Uh, am I on the right side? Uh, 4C. Three C. Oh, okay. I know. It's, it says it right there. Yes. Get a little blanket. Hallelujah! I found that I brought sanitized wipes. Hands, phone, pillow. Are you comfy? <laughs> I feel fun. I feel like I'm on a rocket ship or something. See what's going on with the TV. I like how the screen is so small. We'll be better watching it on your computer. Honestly, I think my computer screen is like the same size. <laughs> okay, attempt to make a sandwich <laughs> with ingredients we have from our hotel, which is a, this is a spoon. That comes with the coffee, the back of the spoon. You don't have any of the weapons. We regret not stealing utensils in the past. <laughs> I'm gonna use my finger. So we bought this bread yesterday, and then we also bought, I've got chicken, chicken toast, smoked chicken toast, oh, and now I got ham bacon, <laughs> and then we're, we're splitting mature white cheddar. This was kind of expensive, but I guess it's white cheddar. I guess for a sandwich, I probably only need like mozzarella, and then she got tomatoes, not for me though. Okay, look. Well I done. managed to have the baguette. Wow, good that's job. success. Um, now the cheese. Uh, no, no, it opens. I, I tested it. Yeah, it's like a. I was like, oh god, we have to open it. Now the cheese up teeth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. It might be easier just to split it with your hand. Oh, like, it smells good. I know it's expensive, but. Mmm. Oh, wow. Don't you want to split it first and then but, but with we the can... success we've already had? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So there's half and half. There we go. And then um, more or less the same. Now what I'm gonna do is just make <laughs> this is ridiculous. I feel like it's all better with your hands with this. Yeah, but then it's gonna Okay. Yeah. You guys have to go crumble it, I think. My chicken looks mysteriously not really chickeny. Mm -hmm. I had my suspicions. We decided that the cheese is delicious. Worth every penny of $200. Okay. 
Got a better tomato in half. You can kind of squeeze it in. There we go. <laughs> mm. Okay, this is supposed to be a snack for later, but I have to taste it. Well, I don't get to eat my walking in the road. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it tastes like a lot of bread with a big chunk of cheddar cheese mm -hmm. and processed chicken. It tastes like exactly what it was. <laughs> it doesn't taste like a sandwich. It just tastes like all those components put into a sandwich. But like... Mm -hmm. It'll be good when I'm hungry. That yeah. ham sounds crunchy. Yeah, it's, iced. <laughs> it's totally iced up. Taste test. Okay, taste test. It is a lot of bread. I think you put a lot of cheese on. I know, because I love cheese. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> Does it taste kind of like what I said? <laughs> a lot of cheese and some chunks of cheese. There's and... a lot of bread. Yeah. There's a lot of bread. It's a really dense bread. It it's is. Not bread at all, so. Which would be good if it was toasted with some yeah. butter or something like that. Um. My problem is I'm just getting bread hits at the moment. Fancy pants area near the uh, Royal Palace and the Pagoda and some artsy fartsy stuff. The sky is so pretty. Okay, we're having breakfast at our hotel this morning. It's before we go see the killing fields. <clears throat> I'm mostly over my cold now, kind of. But I woke up in the middle of the night, I don't know if you heard me, and I just like had a coughing fit. Like I think I just woke up to have a coughing fit and, and then I fell back asleep right after. But I think it's like gone for the most part. So we both got pancakes. And this is Americano, apparently. Let's see if it's actually Americano. That's coffee. That's not Americano, but it's okay. It's an Americano type coffee, an American type coffee. So in a way, they have it right. We got pancakes. Throw like this slowly. It's like a serrated knife. Once again, the way Tom Hoi keep <coughs> and one grave, there were two executioner. One here and one inside. When the truck transferred the prisoner and arrived under the tree there, the other security guard they walked the prisoner down to here to other graves. When the prisoner arrived, blindfolded basically and uh, two arms were locked by the handcuff like this. And the victim was so skinny, exhausted from a time feeling. When arrived, he said that he told the prisoner, my comrade, kneel down. Kneel down or stand still. This is your new home, don't move. I'm releasing you right now. But behind the prisoner, what was he doing? He was grabbing the victim hole, I guess. And then, strike on the neck, very hard. Here. Reason number one, they were... Where's the teeth? Keep it on there. The bone sticking out from under the like where they put the pork on there. young they were and some were female. The reason why Kerus children of the prisoner because they were the roots of the traps. Where inside this grave we saw corpses, bones 
fall off of every decision. Mm -hmm. They're not going to be no flow. Even the former executive man is still alive. That was this death and reach and right I eat. Now we are at the Genocide Museum, which includes a prison. See that this was a high school before. Each cell. But now we decorate the walls because we took photos. So what is the difference between building A and here? Now you can see the original cells. So one room or requesting anything. They have to sleep on the bare floor. This nugget out to kill before. <laughs> yes. He survived by and doing portraits of the like leader. He was invited by the court for testimony as a civil person. Well, we need to get cheese. True. Roman cheese <laughs> okay, So we're on our way to a place called the Silk House, which they do a little tour too of how they make the silk, I think. But we're going like, uh, we'll get there like 30, 40 minutes before they close. <laughs> I was being lazy and watching YouTube videos. But anyway, I want to see that and also possibly, I'm looking to get a robe here because I'm going to be staying in hostels for the rest of my trip and it's very convenient to have one. And I've been having a hard time finding one anywhere else. But that's what we're on our way to do right now. It doesn't look as claustrophobic as it feels. It's, it's fun though.
Okay, I'm currently looking to have a robe done for me. Here's fabrics, and I think the little tailor things for you no. here. Let's see, this guy's leading me somewhere. Oh yeah, sorry, he's leading me somewhere. Right. Watch this. <laughs> wow, and then they have an ice shaver. Cool. And barbecue at this market. You bring it onto the the cart. That's really cool that they bring it here. Okay, I got these donut things. I've seen them before. I have to taste this now to make sure this tastes good enough to be my sweet tonight. Do you want to taste one? I'm going to wait for you over here. Mm-hmm. I need to It's good, I think. It's like fried cake. I don't know, ever since you said the squid thing, I'm like nervous of squid. I have no idea what it was. And I didn't see fried bananas, which is my go-to. I feel safe. No, it's um, like a chewy donut thing with sweet sesame. Um, sweet sesame sauce thing on top. It's really good. I like it. Mm -hmm. I know it's chewier than harder than I expected. Do you like it? Yummy? Yeah, you have to think about it, right? It's a deep fried hot lump of something. <laughs> yeah. I kind of like it. Mm. Yeah, I, yeah, I've had worse things in my mouth. <laughs> it's not what I expected. It's either be fluffier. Yeah, me too. I haven't really looked at the Starbucks and stuff at different countries, which is something I always love to do, but look at the pastry stuff. Sadika. Japanese sweet potato pancakes. Oops. Mango sticky rice macaron. Looks so good. Okay, maybe I'll get something. Well, should I get the the waffle or the potato bun? Strawberry blossom green tea cake. Oh my god, it all looks so good. So I ended up getting the sweet potato bun. I didn't. I asked for it not to be warmed up because I didn't know I was gonna eat it. It's really cold and hard. I'm, maybe I should have gotten the. Uh, Very interesting. It's like a um, buttery pastry on the outside. I almost wouldn't think it's cooked. It is. Like I would have thought it's raw. And then the inside is like sweet, sweet potato filling. I don't know. It's weird. I like it. Thank you.